What's up, y'all? Nate the Great here, back at it again with another amazing Adobe After Effects tutorial. Today, I'm going to teach you how you can take any footage and turn it from drab and boring to fab and soaring. That's right. Today, we're going to dive into Adobe After Effects real quick uh, with the uh, card dance tutorial. So, uh, only things that you're going to need is uh, access to Adobe After Effects and uh, just a short video clip so you can follow along. Let's get into it. Okay, y'all, here we are inside After Effects. I've already imported my footage. And the first thing that we need to do is create a new camera. So we're gonna go up top here and where it says layer, we're gonna click on that. New camera. I'm gonna go ahead with the 50 millimeters and just go ahead and click okay. You might get a dialog box just Ignore it, hit OK. Uh, so right now we're on the camera layer and we're going to go down here and select our video footage again. And we're going to move over to the right side of the screen where it says effects and presets. We're going to come in here in our search bar and we're going to type in levels. And we're just going to bring this over and drag it under our footage. You may not need to do this step if you're happy with the way it looks. So Give it a bit more contrast. I think that's fine for now. I'm back over to the right side of the screen now underneath the effects and presets panel in the search bar. And this time we're going to add an effect called Tritone. Click, hold, and drag that right under our footage. And it gives us this three color uh, footage now. We're going to go over here on the effects control panel where the midtones are. We're going to click on this brown box. And we're going to change this color here. You change it to whatever you want. You leave it brown if you want. That's fine too. Uh, I like, I think that's pretty cool. And go with that. Over to the right side of the screen again. And the effects of presets search bar. I'm going to look for the effect called card dance. And this is the effect that really does all the heavy lifting for uh, what we're looking for here. Now over to the left side of the screen uh, in the effects control panel, we are looking for gradient layer one in this black box here where it says none. We're going to click on this arrow and we're going to select the name of our footage that we want the effect to go on to. From here, we're going down to Z position. We're going to click on this arrow here where it says source. We're going over to this box that says none and we're going to select intensity one and you can see here on a footage that our effects already starting to take place here. The magic is happening, uh, but it's not the look that I'm going for. So what we're going to do now is go up to our rows and columns underneath the car dance. And I'm, we're going to bump these numbers up. I'm going to say 210 here on my rows. Yeah, that looks good. And my columns now, let's give us a bigger number. Let's say 300. Awesome. That looks great. Um, Last thing we need to do on this thing is to go down to our Y scale where it says camera system. We're going to move over to the camera position and use that camera that we created earlier, the comp camera. And it's just going to give it a more of a 3D effect. I think that looks pretty awesome. We're going to go back over to the right side of the screen now to where uh, the effects and presets search bar is. And we're going to go ahead and look for um, a, an effect called Venetian blinds. And underneath, there's two of them. Make sure you grab the one underneath transition. Click, hold, and drag that onto your footage. And we're going to come over to the effect control panel now on the left side of the screen. And where the transition completion is, I'm going to type in 30%. I usually do mine between 20 and 30 when I'm using this effect. Um, yeah, I think it looks, looks all right. I'm going to change my width. I usually do somewhere between 4 and 8. But we're going to bump it up a little bit to 10. I think that looks cool. Looks fine. Um, so that's given us our, our vertical uh, separation, these vertical lines. Uh, but And so if you like that look, that's cool. But I'm going to add another Venetian blinds. And to do that, I'm going to right click on Venetian blinds here. And I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate that. And that's going to give me another um, instance of the Venetian blinds effect on top of this footage. Now, you can't notice it because it's in the same direction, but we're going to get some horizontal separation by changing the direction here to 90 degrees. And you can see here our 30% uh, 
is the same as this was up here and our width because we just duplicated this. So now our footage has this vertical and horizontal separation. I think I really like that look. Um, however, it looks really dark to me and I'm not a fan of that. So there's a w one way you can fix that is by adding a glow effect. So we're going to go back over to the right side of the screen under our effects search panel and type in glow. We're going to click, hold and drag that right on onto our footage. And, you know, just mess around with this. I'm sure you've used glow before. Just mess around with this so you get like a look that that you're happy with. I'm going to go ahead and actually change some, some of these properties down here. I'm going to down the glow colors. I'm going to change this to A and B colors. And so it's taking the glow from these two colors down here, the color A and color B. And I'm just going to go ahead and choose my own colors for this. I think I like that teal and I think I'm going to add a green. I like that. I think it looks cool. Yeah, I'm down with that, but I still think that looks a little too dark. So I'm just going to add another instance of glow on here. I'm going to come over here to my effects control panel glow. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to duplicate this one too. And I think I'm going to change some of these to a bit of a darker color. Give it just a little different kind of, yeah, like that. And then let's go. I think that looks, looks okay. I'm going to change my glow threshold a bit. There we go. And that's a pretty awesome look. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, so let's add one last effect to take this thing right over the top. We'll put a ribbon on this and pack it up. We're looking for an effect called CC Lens. And this is going to add some distortion to this. And right now it's kind of like, it looks like it's obliterated everything, but we're going to go over here to the left side uh, into our effects control panel. And we're just going to bump the size up underneath CC Lens. Mm, I like... Yeah, I like that. I like having these circles here. I just think that looks so cool. Uh, we're going to mess with this convergence a bit. Let's see. Uh, no. Yeah, there, we, there we go. I like that. I think that looks kind of cool. Let's see if we can't get some kind of a preview going here. See what the end product might look like. There she goes. I think that looks awesome. Guys, if you've uh, gotten anything out of this video, please consider hitting the like, share, and subscribe below. And uh, that's going to do it for now. I'll see you on the flip side.